So traveling is something that I absolutely love to do. So around December of last year is when I was like, okay, it's time to book a new trip. And it was also in the time when I was trying to find a present for my best friend. So we're both single, we're both fun, we both like to travel. So what I do, I book us a trip the week of Valentine's Day um, to go to New York. So the day comes around that we're already on our way. We're like pumped up. It's like the best day ever. It's our first time traveling together. She had just turned 18. We're about to be across the country with no supervision. Like, let's go. So we're on the plane and we get there. Finally, it's like negative two degrees, but we didn't even care because you know we're just super excited. So we get there and then we go to our hotel and our hotel's like freaking awesome. We fall in love with it and then we just started like getting even more excited and pumped up because it's like we're really across the country, like with no supervision and we're alone and she's my best friend. So um, that night we kind of got there late, so we just wanted to go eat and then we. Um, and we went back to the hotel, and the next morning we woke up, and this is what, you know, started to be, like, the best day of my life, because I took her everywhere. I had already been there before, but it was her first time, and she had been wanting to go forever. So I took her to the Brooklyn Bridge that day, I took her on the ferry to go see the um, Statue of Liberty, I took her to Little Italy, and then we ended our night in Times Square. And she's like, I want to go shopping, and I was like, okay, you know, we can go shopping, it's not my thing, you know, but you're in New York, I guess you want to shop, so... We finished our night in Times Square because it's just around the corner from our hotel. And she's shopping and she's like, um, H&M's clothes. And I was like, okay. And, and she's like, I wanted to shop there. Like, that had all the, like, the nicest clothes there. I wanted to shop there. We have to come back tomorrow. And I was like, okay. So I, I just ignored her and we went on to the next day. And we wake up the, the next morning and I tell her, okay, like, this is what I want to do today. I want to take you here, here, and here. And she's like, well, we have to go to Times Square first. We have to go to H&M. And I was like, Taylor, you're in New York. Like, what do you, what do you mean you want to go to H&M? You could do that at home. You could do that in LA. H&M's everywhere. I want to go there, though. Like, they have the nicest clothes. And I'm like, are you serious? So whatever this trip is about her. So we go. And she's there for a while, and she wants to stay there for hours again shopping, and I'm like just getting irritated. We're the exact same people. We get irritated at the same things. We get annoyed with each other. It's cold. We're, you know, it's just, it just, everything's getting bad. And so at this point, the whole day was just, it was messed up. Like, we were just fighting back and forth. If we weren't, like, having a good time, we were fighting or, you know, just throwing comments at each other. So, um... Anyway, towards the end of the day, I was just at that point where I was like, I wish I never bought you. Like, I regret bringing you to New York. I regret spending my money on you, everything. <laughs> like, it was that bad. So, um, we got in a horrible fight that night. We woke up the next day, and this is what turned out to be the strangest day of my life. Because me and my best friend were either always fighting, making fun of people, making fun of ourselves, or laughing. Like, or we're just, you know, being us. And we did not say one word to each other the whole day. And it was already time for us to go back. So, you know... We get to the airport, turns out our flight is delayed two hours. So we're sitting there in complete silence, not talking to each other, just pissed off, you know? And it's like, we're in New York, like, where, you know? So we get onto the plane finally, and since that flight was delayed, we had a connecting flight in uh, Denver. And so it turns out that 50% of the, more than 50% of the people that were on that plane had to be on that connecting flight. And we were already late in, when we got in Denver. So. Again, me and my best friend are pissed off at each other, and we get off, everybody gets off the flight, and we're freaking out because we have to be at the next gate in five minutes. So everybody starts running, everybody gets off the plane, we start running, and then they say, oh, the gate's changed, like, you know, where you have to be. So everybody goes and they look at the, the screen to see, like, where to go, and we look at it, and then everybody, everybody's just running and running back to the gate. Anyway, we finally make it on, and me and my best friend are laughing at this point because everybody's dropping their stuff. We're all freaking out, trying to make it to the flight. And then we hop onto the plane, and we're kind of laughing. Everybody's just, you know, laughing at the situation that just happened. And me and my best friend look at each other. Oh, like, we're still mad, you know? Like, so we go back <laughs> to being all annoyed. And then out of nowhere, my, my best friend feels something land on her, and we're like, what the heck? And she's like, Amy, what, what is that? And I was like, I don't know. And she like brings it closer to me. It was a booger, <laughs> a wet, like huge booger just landed on her arm. And it was like the most disgusting thing ever. And we looked at each other and we're like, oh, like trying to figure out what the heck happened. And then from there, we just, you know, got over it. And we're like, dude, we had a good time in New York. Like, why are we going to fight at all? So 
Yeah, that's when I learned that my best friend was able to give me the best, worst, and greatest day of my life all in one weekend. <laughs> <laughs>